I should spend too. When you get to my door, just tell the boy I sent you. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. Then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Oh. <laughs> This bitch is back, and there's hell to pay. I put a spell on you. And now you're Hello, Salem. My name's Garrett. What's yours?
neighbor's gonna die from Why a star town and everybody scream In this town of Halloween I am the one hiding under your bed Teeth ground sharp and eyes glowing red I am the one hiding under your stairs Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair This is Halloween, this is Halloween Halloween, 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 Halloween In this town we call home Everyone hail to the pumpkin Good evening, everyone. Nice to see you all. That was kind of um, very rock and roll, isn't it, for a classical music concert? <laughs> Welcome. How's everyone doing? Can I get like a thumbs up? I know everyone's muted. Wonderful. Nice to see you all. All right, kiddos, let's see you with your camera on. Let's see your costumes. Nice. Well, welcome. My name is Lisa Maresh, and this is Opus 38 Studios Halloween Concert. This is our third annual online concert. We have 16 students performing for you tonight. Um, some are going to play live on Zoom and some are pre-recorded. Uh, you know, there's so many things happening, whether it's high school events or family obligations, but everyone decided they wanted to um, participate, whether they submitted a video or were uh, dressed in costume tonight. So thank you, everyone. One of the things I, I do at the studio is I like to encourage performance whether it be workshops, just playing for your for your piano friends, or a formal concert, I think that um, it's always great to share what you're learning and uh, what you've prepared. So tonight you will see students playing with and without music. And in the fall time, the studio is pretty casual. We like to kind of slowly warm up into playing for our friends and family. Sometimes it's um, a little bit stressful and we like to make it fun. So in the springtime, when the con the more formal concerts, the exams, festivals, competitions, all, all these other piano events uh, happen, they're kind of already ready to go because we've had a lot of fun in the fall. All right. So kids, uh, did you see a little note saying, please check your oh, Zoom preferences? No, no, no. If you check your Zoom preference, make sure that uh, everything under music is checked off. There should be four boxes that are checked blue, okay? This is, I just wanted to review that with you because not all of you do Zoom lessons anymore. Sometimes, uh, well, most of you come in for lessons now, right? So Zoom might be something we haven't done for a minute, okay? Um, are all of your devices plugged in? Yeah, fully charged. Oh, we have one more person. Come on in, welcome. Come on in. All right, um, let's see what else. Some. Let's see how your pianos are set up. Ooh, everybody looks great. Try not to be too close. The further you are, the more we can see your costume, the better. We have some anonymous 
uh, costume judges here. Okay. So how are you feeling? Shall we warm up with a little bit of trivia and some Halloween jokes? I had the hardest time finding the jokes. So uh, trivia is all I have. Okay. All right. Let me do a little screen share and you guys can unmute or put some answers in the chat. Awesome. All right. I'm just checking the chat. You guys can write me in the chat anytime. Okay. When you're, um, you can unmute and clap or you can say great job. Congratulations in the chat. Okay. I know sometimes you perform and you don't hear an applause. Check your chat after you play. Okay. All right. Let's do some trivia. Dun, dun, dun. I hope you guys don't know some of this. Okay. And you guys can hear me. Okay. Too. Yes. Good. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's do some screen sharing. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Now I'm going to do a slideshow. You guys already saw this, right? Welcome. Check your Zoom. Now let's try this. Is a pumpkin or a fruit or a vegetable? Am I getting some stuff in the chat here? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, stop share. I got to go backwards. I touched the, hold on. Take two. We're going to do this again. <laughs> Ooh, very, very stressful here. Okay, let's do this again. Is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> Obviously, I need to practice fruit. this too. It's a fruit. Um, why is that? I mean, you're right, but why is that? Because it has seeds. Yes, because it has seeds. Yes, okay, so you guys know this. Oh, this is no fun. Okay, let's try another one. What is the original name? Oh my gosh. How come you guys know this? Can Chicken feed, isn't that the weirdest name for candy? I didn't know this till yesterday. You guys are too smart. Okay, let's try another one. Which of Beethoven symphonies does Ode to Joy come from? I know many of you have played Ode to Joy on piano. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Oh, somebody said ninth. Ninth. Yes. Ninth? Yes, it's the ninth symphony. It's his last symphony where he incorporates the choir. There's voice and instrumental, okay? All right. Uh, next. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. What are other vegetables that have been carved on Halloween? I know you don't know. Oh, I don't know. See, I don't know. Thank you. Squash. Squash. 说话的时候，等一下没有？等一下说话的时候穿着这个，要不要？嗯。Try more. Try more. Any more? Good. Um, okay. Potatoes, beets, and even turnips have been carved on Halloween. Okay, one more. Actually, there's a couple more. What does the name Dracula mean? I picked this one because I think somebody dressed up as Dracula this year. Big fangs? Vampire. Large fangs, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Give me more. Drinks blood. Drinks blood? <laughs> yeah, Dracula does drink blood. So the answer is son of the devil. That's what Dracula means. I think that, that's what I read. Rachmaninoff, pianist and composer. He had giant hands. How far could he reach? So on the piano, from like one note to the next, did he reach an octave like C to C? That's an eighth. And at 12th or 15th, I see some 12s here. Any more? 15, that's a big hand, that's really big. The answer is 12th, okay? Ooh, do you guys know this? In what century did the practice of trick or treat begin? What century? 19th century. Uh, probably. 1800s, I saw. 1900s. 
1900s actually in, in North America, I think in the United States, that's when trick or treating, 19th century. Okay, so I'm going to read you a little snippet of what I found out. So in North America, trick or treating began to develop as a Halloween tradition in the 1920s. But in Europe, going house to house and collecting food goes back as far as the 16th century. In Britain and Ireland, there are many accounts of people going house to house in costume at Halloween, reciting verses in exchange for food, and sometimes a warning of misfortune if they were not welcome. I guess that's where trick or treat comes from. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I think this is the last one. Okay, who invented the piano? Steinway and Sons. I know some of you guys have played at the gallery. Bartolomeo. Oh, did I say that right? Bartol Bartolome. <laughs> Who wants to try? Bartolomeo. Bart oh, Christopher. Okay, I know how to say the last one. Christopher. And then Andrea Amati. Okay, Jaden says Christopher. Sophia says Christopher. Yes. Bart. Bart. Thank you. <laughs> Let's call him Bart for short. Number two, yes, Cristofori was the um, Italian man who um, invented what's called the double, double escapement. That's what allows you to play loud and soft with the hammers on the piano. All right, just something to, you know, get us started tonight. Barty, yes, or just let's call him Bart, yes. Okay, how do I get out of this? I know he's still, there we go. Okay, I'm going to close this so I don't accidentally go back to trivia by accident. So before we start playing, may I put in the chat our program for this evening? Oh, um, let's do everyone in the meeting. So um, you can print it out or you can just look at it. Um, if you like the piece, you can sneak peek and see what the piece is called. You don't have to say your names and, and your pieces, kids. Um, only if you want to announce um, what you're playing, okay? Because the program is there. So you'll see that um, the program is two pages and I don't traditionally go from the youngest or the oldest or the, the most difficult piece, or the, sorry, the easiest piece to the difficult piece. I, I like to program the kids' music um, so it, it flows nicely so you'll see the first page has a lot of romantic and halloween music and the second page has baroque and Bar uh, beethoven okay so before we start i have a costume too you guys i i'm sorry i'm i'm totoro again from last year <laughs> here i go all right and costume prizes oh let's do this let's um do no virtual background so you guys can see. So audience members, the pianists who are dressed up this evening um, may end up winning this candy jar. Okay, this is the costume prize here. They can pick it up, drive by and pick it up by my house or just get it their next lesson. And then the candy jar contest is open to all family members of the farmers. And it looks like it's so heavy this year. It's so heavy, guys. It's so heavy. All right, yeah, I'll even put it sideways so it sh you can see it all. It's packed, okay? So at the end of the concert, I'm gonna have a time, maybe about a minute, where you guys can put your name and your guess. All right? So let's get started. It's time for music. All right, Jaden, are you ready? Can we have you unmute? All right. Let me pin you. Everybody see Jaden full screen? Is that happening? No, let's try that. No, Jaden is not full screen. Well, I wonder if I mute myself. Uh, if you sorry. mute and he starts talking, maybe. 
Yeah. Jaden, can you test say something and see if the green, I want to see if it goes to you, okay? Sorry, you're you're like our tester. Hello. 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 Did it work? It it did work. Can you tell us what your costume is? Uh yeah, I'm a I'm a detective today with my magnifying glass and my, my bag too. Okay. And I'm playing uh, in the hall of the mountain king. Looks like a good job. Thanks, Jaden. Awesome. Next pianist we have is Cyrus. I'd like to dedicate all the songs I'm going to play next to my dog, Bowtie, who died eight days ago, and I love him and miss him every day. Thank you, Cyrus. Mm -hmm. It's for more children. Cyrus. Excellent. Next, next, I'm going to play a video for you. Uh, oh, no. Next is Vandia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Adeline's the fourth one. Where can I find Adeline? No, but oh, Vandia. Uh, 
Sorry, we're dropping people. <laughs> Anya, there you are. All right. Oh my God. Hi. Sweetie, you can start over if you want to. You want to do that? Vanya is playing Ghosts in the Attic. Go for it, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Are you are you a vampire? Yes. Give me a thumbs up, or is it something else? Should I should I call it something else? It is a vampire. Thanks for playing. Great job. All right. I'm gonna remove her spotlight now. Now, guys, I have a video to play for you. Okay. This is Adeline. She is playing Dance Macabre. It is an arrangement from Sanson. And let me get it set up. Here we go. And she is a Care Bear, if you wanted to know what her costume was. Okay, here we go.
Well, I'm recording this, so when she watches the video, hopefully she'll see everybody was excited and enthusiastic about her performance tonight, right? Okay. So, so much more good music coming up. Next, we have Sophia. There you are with all of your pumpkins. Okay, let me spotlight you. Audience members, if you can, um, it'll be awesome if you could uh, mute yourself. What's your costume? Thank you. Sophia, what is your costume? Um, I'm a vampire. Oh, yeah, put that in there. Vampires are supposed to be scary, and we have the cutest vampires tonight, don't we? <laughs> Great job. All right, after Sophia is Cruz. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't recognize you, man. Oh, epic. Oh my God. Where are you? I don't even know where you are. Who are you? What are you? No more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> Cruz, <laughs> what are you dressed up as tonight? Um, I'm a Roman legionary. Say that one more time so we can uh, we can hear you. I'm a Roman legionary. Roman re legionary. Legionary. Wow, super tough. Hi, Paloma. What are you? Sky. Wow, I love it. You are Sky. All right, Cruz. Are you ready to play for us? Sky from Paw Patrol. Cruz, awesome. Awesome, I love that. Okay, next up, uh, we also have another video. Kaden is going to perform. 
and let me screen share that with you, okay? All right, and he's playing Bird Mueller. You guys see that? Awesome, okay, here we go. We have two videos in a row. Uh, the next one, uh, Bianca is going to perform for us. She's at a voice recital tonight. So she made a video during her lesson this week and I had a request. So some of, some of you guys did extra repeats on my favorite parts on your piece tonight or Bianca, I asked her to play an extra piece because um, I love the second piece, uh, Moons of Jupiter. So I have two pieces. She's got two treats for you, okay? And she is Snow White. Phantom ship uh, coming right up. Okay. Yeah, yeah you might recognize my piano, guys, right? Was her first piece and here is moons of jupiter oops let's try that again let's do just her so you guys can see her bigger let's try that is that better yeah okay
All right. So that was Bianca's performance. Um, let's see. Aiden, did you have to take off your costume? You can't play with it, huh? Do you want to you want to put it back on for us later? Yeah, I, I could, I'll put it back on once I'm done. Okay, it, it looks like a cow. Yes, it it's super like cute. It's super cute. I love it. Okay, we'll see it at, um, a little bit later. Okay, are you ready to play for us? I am. Yeah. Okay. Spotlight on you. Do you, do you want to take the arm off so you can play better? Let's do You're okay? All right. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to make suggestions. You go for it. put your costume on can you do it Moo -moo! <laughs> awesome that's epic yeah you got it <laughs> awesome <laughs> Thanks, Aiden. Oh, stuck in my. Oh, your shoe? <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. Next, we have Sharvi. Oh, that was awesome. All right, Sharvi, I'm going to ask you to unmute. There we go. All right, we are ready for you.
Woo! Excellent. Great job, Sharvi. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that was great, wasn't it? I see some clap emojis up there. Next, uh, the last pianist on the first page is Taya. Um, we're going to play her video tonight. She's um, at a family event. All right. Let me get her set up. And here we go. She's playing some Chopin tonight. So I know we've had a couple of people come in and out um, of Zoom here. So let me put in the chat the program one more time um, in case you would like to see. Now we're um, on to the second page. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, Cruz, I almost sent it just to you. <laughs> okay, let's send it to everyone. Um, I'm putting in the chat the program one more time okay now we're on the back side all right zachary you're next are you ready buddy no <laughs> i think you are i heard you this week you want to give it a shot 
Okay, he's playing presto from Sonata in C minor. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, are you guys giving Zachary a round of applause? He sounded ready to me, yeah. right? Ooh. Everybody's clapping. Good job. Really great. Thanks. Thanks for playing tonight, Zachary. All right, next we have Cecilia. Would you like to tell us who you are dressed up as tonight? I'm Tinkerbell. She is Tinkerbell. You are, you're like a real living Tinkerbell. Look at you. Yeah, you. <laughs> All right, we're ready to hear you play some Bach. Take it away, Cecilia. <laughs> Thank you. 
job, Cecilia. All right, audience, we're doing a countdown. Three, two, one. We have three more performers left tonight. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Next, we have Andy on video. So let me share that with you. Andy. There he is, and I'm gonna push play. Awesome. Good job, Andy. That's the best I've heard him play that piece, I think. All right. One more video. We have Maxon next. Maxon is, we have a lot of Baroque pieces on the second page. He's playing Bach also. Okay, here we go. Last but not least, Mateo, are you here? There you are giving me a thumbs up. Are you always towards the end because you're the tallest? I don't know what's going on. You're always towards the end. Thanks for waiting to play. <laughs> um, are you wearing a costume? Yeah. Who um, are you? Hi. What are you? Uh, I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> All right, you might want to scoot your um, computer back just a little bit more, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, just because uh, the sound is pretty big. There you go. All right. You've got your uh, Beethoven sonata for us, first movement. Take it away.
everyone i'm gonna do a gallery mode so i can see all of you can i see um all of your cameras on and if you have a costume may i see you one last time yeah i take a picture <laughs> nice. all right um, I might grab some pictures um, from the recording too. All right, guys. Um, let's see. I have a text message um, telling me who the winner for the costume competition is. You guys, thank you for dressing up. Thanks for being festive and testing out your costumes. Is everyone going trick or treating Monday? Yes? On a school night. You party animals. All right, so the candy jar contest. We have a winner and some honorable mentions. Let me mention the winner first. Dun, dun, dun. The winner is Tinkerbell. <laughs> All right, Cecilia. Tinkerbell won. Would you like to say a few words? No. <laughs> Cecilia, I want to say this is the second time you've won. She was Medusa a few years ago and she won. And let's see, the honorable mentions, we, you know, we have to give a shout out to some of the other people who have fantastic costumes. Um, they are the the Roman soldier. The detective and Snow White. Okay. Now I'm going to open up the chat for the next minute. And I am going to give you an opportunity to guess how many pieces of candy are in the candy jar. Okay. So let me do this. Everyone in the meeting, everyone in the chat, you have the next minute to share with me what you think. There's more than one and less than 999. I know it's not a very good clue, but here we go. Are they plugging their numbers in? Mm-hmm. Hey, we have about 30 seconds left. No Jeopardy sound. No, no Jeopardy sound. <laughs> Raj is telling me to sing the Jeopardy sound, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> if I see the correct number, the first person who gets it is going to be the winner. Okay? If you're really close to it, you can be a little above or a little below, but whoever gets the closest, okay? All right, time is up. Are you guys all done? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay, there are three people who guessed the right number. <laughs> and the first person who guessed it is Zachary with 500. Exactly 500. Zachary, are you, are you on the camera? Oh, there you are. You want to unmute? Congratulations, buddy. 
<laughs> I guess you're coming over next week for a lesson. You can come pick this up, okay? okay? So the last few years, I've had some really random numbers, and I had to make sure I had an exact number so I can remember because it was so hard to count the pieces of candy. So it's 500 pieces, and um, I don't know. There's some big pieces in there, too. So there's probably about... 485 candy corn pieces and the others are random. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. A lot of close numbers. Oh, Cruz, your family was really close. You guys all had really close numbers. Tao, you were close. Nice. All right. Do you guys want to say last few things or redo your piece or say, you know, tell us a Halloween joke before we go? It's so quiet on Zoom. <laughs> no? I can mute us. I think I have a joke. Yeah. Your costumes were so cool, everybody. Were they? I got a joke. You have a joke? All right, let's hear it. Okay. So why do ghosts go on diets? Okay, let's let's spotlight Aiden. Why do ghosts go on diets? I didn't even know ghosts went on diets. I didn't even know they ate anything. Tell us. So they can keep their ghoulish figures. Their ghoulish figures? <laughs> You know what? That's better than a lot of the stuff I found. Okay. Hold on. I'm seeing stuff in the chat here. Everybody wants to do riddles. Okay, let's do some riddles. Let's do it. So, okay, Sophia, tell us a riddle. Um, so, um, it, a man was walking on the side, on, going for a walk, and he saw a... <laughs> And he saw a puddle with glass and and a dead body in it. What happened? You guys can mute or answer, answer in, the answer in the chat. chat. Murder mystery. Murder, Murder mystery. mystery. <laughs> All, right. All right. It says, says Carl Page. I, I, okay. okay. One of Cecilia's, Cecilia's brothers, brothers has a has riddle, a riddle for, for us. <laughs> I can't remember who it's been because you guys have grown so big. You want to tell us a riddle? <laughs> no? I can say it if you want because I read it in the chat. You read it in the, oh, it's in the chat? Yeah. Okay, tell us, big sis. What's in a ghost's nose? I don't know the answer. Oh, I see. It says, what's in a ghost's, ghost's nose? What, what's the answer? Is it boogers? Boogers? Yeah, that was your joke? That's awesome. That's funny. We got to keep it um, PG-13, but this is PG-13, isn't it? It's, it's just... Uh, kind of gross, but it's not scary. <laughs> All right, you want to you want to do one more? Let's do one more before we say good night. Booger, no. I guess that's it. Okay. I didn't get to tell my answer. Oh, I thought you said the answer is murder mystery. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sophia. Go, go for, for it. it. A fish tank exploded. <laughs> Tell us the whole joke again, and then the answer back to back. So, um, a a guy was taking a walk, and he saw a puddle with glass and two and two dead bodies. A fish tank exploded. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> so the dead bodies are the fish. The dead body. You guys, everyone. It's just me. 
Yes, yeah, you have, have to tell me piano me. jokes. I don't no, know any no. piano jokes. Tell I me. I don't me. know any piano jokes. Tell me again, again next week, week, okay? All right, everyone. I am so proud of you. It's only been a few months since school started, and you guys are all rocking it. I will see you this week after Halloween. Okay, have a safe and fun and exciting Halloween. And thank you for joining and playing tonight. I will see you all next week, okay? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Good night.